The next screen deals with setting up this router to be a DHCP server. Remember that DHCP assigns IP addresses, subnet masks, default gateways, and other options, for example DNS server IPs, to hosts on the LAN. This is often a role assigned to a server on the LAN, but because our little branch office doesn't have a server, we'll take advantage of Cisco's built-in DHCP service. To configure the DHCP server, first click the checkbox that says Enable DHCP Server on the LAN interface. In the previous screen, we set GI00 at the LAN interface by not choosing the LAN IP to be on some other interface. We now have to specify what address the DHCP server should hand out by giving it a starting and ending range. We need to remember that we must stay within the boundaries of our LAN subnet, but notice that SDM has already figured that out for you. By giving an IP address and mask to the LAN interface, SDM calculated our subnet IPs and starts with that whole range as its default. Often with DHCP, we want to exclude certain addresses, such as the router itself, and maybe servers or printers that are already statically configured. In our case, we don't have a server to worry about, but our switch will need an IP for management. We will give it 192.168.100.242. After taking the router's GI00 and the switch into account, that means we must start the range of DHCP addresses, called a scope, at 192.168.100.243. We can let it run all the way to the end of the subnet to the last available IP of 192.168.100.254. The ISP will advise us of the correct DNS server IP addresses. For the time being, we'll use 4.2.2.2 .2 .2 in the first entry.